You're watching WXII 12 News. Health leaders are trying to figure out how to contain the coronavirus as hundreds of new cases are now confirmed. And that includes one patient in California who was infected without traveling to China. Doctors tonight still don't know how that person got sick. Well, some people may, of course, be reconsidering travel plans now in the wake of the coronavirus. Our Kirsten Gutierrez is in Greensboro with more on whether or not people are canceling their plans. We've talked to several travel agencies, including Imagine Travel here in downtown Greensboro, and not one of them has had a cancellation because of the coronavirus. Although there's been no cancellation so far this year. The funny thing is business has actually been up because uh, I know a lot of people, they don't want to live in, in fear, you know, because really you can contract something anywhere. Um, of course, the coronavirus is, is a whole new animal. There has been growing concern following the outbreak of the coronavirus. I had a guy that actually called me today. Uh, he's going to Iceland and he asked me, you know, should I be worried about going to Iceland? Whether well, there's no cases there at all yet um, doesn't mean that it can't happen. But it's not stopping people from being adventurous. We have over a thousand people going to Europe this year already um, and we're booking new people every day. Um, but people that are concerned, they'll go to Cabo San Lucas or they'll go to Hawaii or uh, Disney World. The biggest concern many have is what will happen if there's a travel ban. Uh, what would these companies do for them if they don't have travel insurance? And just like when a hurricane comes into Miami on a cruise ship, if there's a hurricane and you can't go out, they're going to protect you, move you, you know, refund you if necessary. During this time, experts recommend to get travel insurance, take extra precautions, and enjoy your vacation. In Greensboro, I'm Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News. Kirsten, thank you. The CDC warns that Americans should be ready for the spread of the disease here in the United States at some point.